welcome to Tumblr's Galaxy 101 Girls Night Out. So when it comes to the epoxies, there's two part epoxy. And combining these in equal parts, it will create the, it will harden into plastic. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to just raise your hand or shout out my name and then I'll come and help you guys, okay? So that's what's good about this epoxy, that it's, it's really quick drying. So right now, because we're in a well-ventilated room and it's really big, this has very low fumes, very low viscosity. So uh, you won't necessarily be smelling it as much as other epoxy resins if you've used epoxy before. Um, so this is what's great about this epoxy that I love, that it doesn't smell. If you guys brought a mask, um, then you guys are more than welcome to, to put it on. So for one of them, part A, you're gonna fill it up to 20. And then with the other little cup, 20 of part B. And it's okay if at the end we have extra, that's okay, that's totally fine. And then you will see that part A is a little bit thicker. Um, if you like it, they are local. Um, it's called the Epoxy Store. And we are, you know, this class is sponsored by them. So this is their company. This is a new um, Tumblr epoxy that they just created um, recently. And they launched. And I, out of all the epoxies that I've used, yeah. it's, it's my favorite. <laughs> Go ahead and mix it into the big cup. Little trick is the thicker one first. So make sure that I grab all of the epoxy off of the cup. You are going to stir it up slowly. Make sure you take your time because if you take your time, um, you will get less bubbles. Once you see that it's starting to get clear, that's how you know that the epoxy is mixed together. So these are already prepped. So the way that I prep them is you need to sand them. That is so the epoxy will adhere. And then I painted it with spray paint. It's a galaxy cup. We are doing a black base. They're stainless steel and they're double insulated. So when they're ready to go, so you can use uh, hot or cold. Um, this is gonna be like a glitter base. This is called epoxy additive. So, you know, there's, there's, you know, the glitters that are, they're a little bit chunkier. We're not gonna use that. So this is very, very fine. A little bit goes a long way. And this is just to give it a little bit of a base before we add the color. Okay, so everybody got their, theirs mixed. So a little bit at a time is best until you reach the whole thing. So if you guys wanna watch me first, and then after, you guys can start doing it on your own, okay? So I always like to start at the very top and then just, oops, and then just work, yes, you use your hands. So, and then you just work your way down. And then you'll see right now, it's gonna get messier with the alcohol inks. So it does not need to be perfect, just as long as the cup is all covered and you'll be able to see the sparkle. So, <laughs> You just add a little bit, a little bit at a time, and then I like to work from the top to the bottom. Is you can either just put some at the rim and then just slide it down to the bottom, or you can get some from your finger and then just uh, smooth it at the bottom. Make sure that it's just a thin coat. Just make sure that you get all the glitter dispersed to the cup. Yes, look for spots that doesn't have glitter or the epoxy that you see that you can still see the base, the black base, and then just add a little bit. You guys can just put your finger on the edge of the cup, making sure that there's epoxy on the top of the rim, because that's going to create a seal. So we're done with the first step, so now we're gonna be adding the alcohol inks. So go ahead and change gloves. So take one off, grab that glove that you took off with the one that you have on, and then just flip it and then put it inside out and I'll be coming around with the trash can. Just in case you guys got some epoxy on your hands, um, just if you guys wanna take one and then pass it down. And then once your hands are fully dry, you guys can go ahead and um, put the new gloves on. All of these are the metallics. Okay. 
try to use the colors first. So I am going to choose Senorita Magenta, Baja Blue, Rainforest Green, and Passion Purple. So just so you guys can see, for this one that I, what I did, <laughs> this one what I did is I grouped the colors together. So for example, I did pinks and purples on one side, on one end. Then I do, did blue and greens uh, together. So then that way it kind of gives it more of like a galaxy effect. And then once I add, I will go ahead and um, have you guys come and choose the colors that you guys want, okay? So I am gonna start with blue. And all I'm doing is just dropping it. And you're not gonna see them very much. Right here, I just did one, two, three, four, four drops on that end. And you will see that the colors are going to spread. That don't be alarmed, and it is gonna look ugly at first, don't be alarmed. <laughs> <laughs> this is just the first step. Then we're gonna add some purple. So I'm adding it with the pinks. Like you guys can do it however you would like. If you guys would just like to disperse all the colors, you're more than welcome to. This is just preference. I'm adding green to where the purple is. I'm doing about four to five drops at a time. And then I do see a lot of the black glitter. So what I'm gonna do is just keep adding. And then I will check to see if there's anything else that's not coated. Make sure it's not too much. You would still wanna see kind of some of the black with the glitter. Um, so make sure that you don't overpower it. Okay, so for the next one, okay. we are gonna be mixing the white. So with the leftover resin that you have, with the pearl alcohol inks, we're gonna do about maybe three drops into that, and then we're gonna mix it. We're gonna do this effect with the, to make it to where it looks kind of like cloudy. So we have pearl, we have silver, I believe. We have copper, I haven't tried copper or gold tones. We also have white, flat white. So for this one, I use just a flat white. So you want the consistency to be a little bit thick. If you, if you lift it and it strings down, that's perfect. I always start from the top and I work my way down diagonal. If it's really like elasticy, that's fine. And you're just gonna do little by little lines i like to go the direction that the cup is moving so that way it will be easier and then all you're, you're going to take your time and then just keep adding try not to add too much and then what i'm going to keep doing is i'm going to keep adding white to the to those lines just trust the process with any cup that you guys make or anything just trust the process. At first, it does not look pretty. <laughs> so we're gonna come one by one, put some heat to it, and then you will see it come alive. They're gonna be coming around and adding, um, adding heat to it. So if you see here, the, the epoxy is gonna get a little bit thin and then all the colors are gonna be mixing. So what you guys can do is once there's heat on it and you see that there's movement, if you see that you want like the white to kind of move a certain direction, just very lightly, just tap, 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 so you can make your little waves. Okay. Now just keep in mind that this is gonna be moving all throughout the night until it cures. So if you see it one way right now, tomorrow it might look different, and that's okay. We see how it's starting to move. Oh, okay, I see it. Make sure not to add it for too long. It heats up the epoxy, and it makes it move. So we'll let it, we'll let the colors move around. And then if you guys tell me you guys wanna add more color for any of them, if you guys see that the colors are dispersing and you guys wanna make it more vibrant or add more blues or pinks, you guys can, just do not add too much. 
So tomorrow we're gonna add another layer of epoxy. So if you guys see gaps that are not like little, like where the epoxy spreads a little bit, you're fine. But today it doesn't have to be perfect. You're fine. So tomorrow all you need to do is just take it off of the backing and then just slap it onto the cup. Okay, so I'll make it as easy as possible. We are going to leave it for it to cure. We're gonna do that tomorrow again. And then after Tuesday, it will be ready for pickup. You guys can come anytime, it depends on the short hours.